What's up, guys? So Double Dragon Revive just got announced, or at least to my radar, it just popped up. And I just have to say, I really do enjoy beat-em-ups. I may not be like super duper deep into beat-em-ups, but I have an affinity for them. I played many beat-em-ups, Turtles in Time. Scott Pilgrim is actually one of my favorite beat-em-ups, if not my favorite beat-em-up, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. I played Streets of Rage 4, I think it's 4. Absolutely hated it. I played, um, what's that other one? Streets of Fury. I played I played a lot of beat em ups. Let me just put it like that. I played a lot of beat em ups. But the beat em ups that I've always liked, a Double Dragon Neon, the beat em ups that I always liked, I be before, like, a lot of people like Streets of Rage. And I do truly believe that it should have been way better than what it was. I think it was absolute fucking garbage. But here's the deal Double Dragon Revive is being announced. And, um,. I looked at the trailer, and there's a lot of you guys that probably don't know anything about that Double Dragon was even announced. I, I told my friend this, about this this morning. He didn't know. Unfortunately, he didn't like it. He said it looked like ass. He basically dashed all my dreams on the rocks because Double Dragon should be way bigger than what the fuck it is in my eyes. And the fact that that franchise, the only time that they mention that franchise, it's always something goofy. Don't get me wrong. Double Dragon Neon was great. But the fact, as old as Double Dragon is, and the premise of Double Dragon is just two fucking bros fucking shit up, that's what it should be, right? That's what beat em up. That is literally what beat em ups is. Besides the Ninja Turtles fucking shit up, Double Dragon, then of course you got your Streets of Rage. Anyway, let's look at this trailer. At least let's look at this trailer together. Now, mind you, if this is if these are like cutscenes in the game, that's fine. I think that the camera angles is a little bit weird. Like after all the hype initially settled down, and then my friend said that it looks like a fucking mobile game, which made me sad. You know, the the cutscenes is a little bit too jank. In my like it, the camera angles is moving in fast and slow motion. I, I basically said it's kind. You guys remember what uh 60 FPS gaming was? When you first played 60 FPS gaming, your eyes had to adjust to it. It was like, oh my god, what the fuck? Or when you finally saw uh, high quality, not even not even 4K, just high quality compared to standard definition back then. Your eyes had to adjust. That's what my that's what I'm getting from this. But in terms of mobile game characters, look, he said that the game doesn't have art style. It doesn't have an art direction. Maybe. I guess they, I mean, I don't think that they're going to polish it anymore, but listen, I'm going to just put it like this. When was the last time we had a beat em up? When was the last time we had a beat em up? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> graphically that look like this. Let's be real. What beat em ups graphically look like this? That's been made in recent year. The last one was what? Uh, it was a PlayStation 2 game with Law and Paul as guest, uh, guest characters beat down i think it was how long have we had how long has it been since we actually had characters somewhat in a realistic uh made in a realistic concept we don't get that most beat em ups is cartoony and i'm not against cartoony things but again let's be real here <laughs> Ah oh, shit, you saw that? Ah oh, shit, ah oh, shit. That's that's the shit right there. You ain't see that? Yo, bro, you good? Yeah, I might fist bump. Let's whoop his ass. Look at this. Let's fucking go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Devil Dragon was my shit growing up. Like you don't understand. Um, me and a relative that I had, I I didn't see for almost 20, 23 years. The last game I remember me and him playing was Double Dragon, and I could not beat that game. And I didn't see, like, literally lost in the game, and I didn't see them for 23 years, right? Double Dragon was the one game that got away. And you mean to tell me right now, Double Dragon's back? Like, Frieza's like, <laughs> Goku, Double Dragon's back. Hey, it's the one that got away. And this is not even his final form. Like, I didn't even beat the old one. You mean to tell me double, there's another Double Dragon with a, a completely different form? You got me shaking in my fucking boots. Like, what the fuck? 
that's what double this is the essence of fucking double dragon right here this is this like somebody's um you know somebody was saying it doesn't have no personality it looks like a mobile game that's the f oh my fucking god if i was a girl am i what am i do i need a towel bro oh my fucking gosh Again, and it's be, it's being made by Arc System Works and Yuke, so you already know in terms of the crazy shit, you know they're coming with it. For those people who like Guilty Girl all of a sudden before it was taken over by the LGBT weirdos who own who somehow converted that who somehow converted the franchise of Guilty Gear into their little cesspool of Reddit bullshit, Reddit degenerate furry bullshit. We can be happy with this, right? I think I think we can be happy with this. I'm happy with this, at least for what it is. Jesus Christ, Shirley. <laughs> the Lee Brothers whooping ass. And I could see it. Like, they'll probably put challenges where it's like knock enemies into stage hazards and shit like that. And shit like that just to perfect your perfect your, your little craft and shit like this. But here's the deal, right? This game feels like Final, uh, not Final Fantasy, King of Fighters, the last one that came out where the characters look a little bit better. But the special effects is kind of still off. That's what this looks like to me. But again, if this game is good, right? If if this game is popular enough, Double Dragon is fucking back. In my eyes, that's how I look at it. And I will be purchasing this fucking game. Whether it's good as bad, good or bad, there are some times you need to put your foot in the sand and go, you know what? It doesn't matter. But looking at the mechanics of the game, you got finishers. There's some grapples, which wasn't in the original, uh, 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 the original Double Dragon, at least not like this. I don't, I don't think, yeah, th there was grapples back in the day. I, I believe that the blue one was better at kicks. The red one was better at punches. Uh, Jimmy and Billy Lee, Billy Lee and Jimmy Lee. Um, but it looks like as though they're doing a little bit more of the, the thing that, uh, the last one, Double Dragon Gaiden was doing. Uh, but yeah, and then you also got, uh, moves that send people from different planes on the field. So you have kicks that send them up or probably throw them, which sends them down, which can kind of clear your area a little bit but one thing that i like about this already off the jump is that both the brothers can fucking run right they have mobility that was one of the biggest problems i had with streets of rage is that no matter what unless you was playing cherry who for some reason had all of the fucking things you would expect in a new a new uh streets of rage game Unless you was playing Cherry, every other character moves slightly faster than you. So you would knock them down, right? They get up, and you're trying to walk to them, and they're moving faster than you. So you're like this, right? They're, they're faster than you. So it, it just, that shit was stupid. They say, oh, it's a deep strategy game. Yeah, stop. You, you, you're doing you're doing, tw you're doing 360s on it, glazing it. I'm sorry. I'll beat them up in this day and age. Either you make it fair so that it's it's even, or you you give everybody the mobility, which you think that they would fucking have. Like, Axel Stone, knees don't fucking work. What he got? He got fucking arthritis in his knees. No, no, shut up. I'm sorry. Stage hazards. That's probably gonna be the first boss. That's probably gonna be the first boss. Like they're probably disrespecting the dojo, and you gonna have to beat up these twins. But again, and if Capcom is smart, if Capcom is smart, if Capcom is smart, and they see this. They should bring back Final Fight. That's what I would like to see. Before I am on my deathbed, I would like to see Final Fight fleshed out properly. Make it happen. Like, so people could understand that Cody is the real Street Fighter. Please. Please. 
Put some respect on that man. Turn the beat back, please. I just... You saw that? Uh, Billy D actually has a, a back a back jump. <laughs> Evasion. <laughs> so that he has a he has, so basically you can jump back, you can run. I don't know if you can roll. Um, I don't know if there's like install skills that you can do, but you just saw that he has a jump back. Unfortunately, this person who's playing is ass, right? When you jump back, you're supposed to make it look good. I don't know if it has iframes. Probably should. And maybe uh, Billy Lee has different uh, evasion. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. God damn, leave alone. You're already dead. Oh my fucking god! Oh man, L let me let me let me see the comments on how hype people are. Let's go. While obviously still in early access, this looks a lot smoother and more pleasing than the initial trailer. Super Double Dragon on the SES will still be my favorite. Ain't no way they both got Jonathan and Dio to voice a protect. You know that's what I was wondering what it is, and I don't even like uh, I don't even like JoJo, but I was like that voice sounds familiar. It you can't get away from it. You can't get away from it. Now, that's what I like to see. A 3D brawler with brutal takedowns. Something about this is just off. Hmm. Can't wait. Double Dragon was the first game I ever owned. Spent hundreds of hours playing it with my brother. I definitely will be picking up. Yes, Double Dragon was my very first beat-em-up. That was my very first beat-em-up before I even knew what beat-em-ups were. Doesn't look good at all. What a disappointment. For a moment, I thought this was the King of Fighters. That's exactly what I was saying. It looks kind of like the latest King of Fighters, where the character models look great, but the finishing effects look like someone threw Kool-Aid and tomato sauce everywhere. I introduced Double Dragon to a friend yesterday, and suddenly this shows up. Yep, YouTube is stalking me. I think has potential to be very good. Yo, I'm getting it. I love the environmental actions. The tra You know what? Let me see something. Double Dragon Revive reaction. Let me see if any YouTubers... Like Maximilian or something. I don't know who this is, and I don't want to get copyright striked. But let me just let me just look initially at how people are taking this. Uh, so we are here. Oh, this looks good. Oh wow, I like this. I like this. Wow, this looks so good. That's what I'm fucking talking about right there, boy. That's what I'm talking... Cammy? Street Fighter? Oh, okay, it's one of them fake videos. Okay. Whatever. Double Dragon Revive Analysis and Rant. All right. Uh, Dragon Ball Sparkling, not interested in that bullshit. Like, I want to click other videos, but I am so afraid. I am so afraid of getting copyright struck, uh, struck for this. Because I don't know how it works exactly. And I'm not, I'm not trying to make money off of other people's things or anything like that. I just would like to see other people's, uh, other people's reaction. I'm surprised Maximilian hasn't reacted to it. See if he has. He's like the go-to kind of quintessential guy when it comes down to fighting game shit. I guess not. It's unfortunate. I'm just going to click that one person because if I do get copyright track, I can just remove that. Um, but anyway, let me know what you think in the comments and I'll catch you next time. Peace.